Had a bite on the red maggots. Maybe the red maggots are gonna do well today. Let's see. And there you have it, red maggots. Score is one, two, one right now. Ooh, this guy shot right out of the hole. Looks like he took the scud. This guy took the squad. Let's measure him really quick. Oh, he's another keeper, guys. And we have action again. This is rising off the bottom, guys. I think I gotta lower my uh, lower my jig a little bit. There you go. And we had a bite. I just rushed the hook set here. <laughs> this is exciting. Whoop! Another one here. I'm not used to this small bite anymore. I keep missing them. They have a very delicate bite. I'm getting bites on both right now. There you go. Oh no, it got hooked. It got hooked into the cable again, guys. Ay, 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 ay. Got hooked in the cable again. And he got long. I lost him. Back down she goes. I wanna see if maybe I'm gonna get him to bite again. Looks like he was on the scud this time. Here we go again. And we're on. 
and we are on number three It looks like they're biting equally on both white and uh, red maggots, so whatever you case can get your hands on, it will work. I did not even tip my jigs with worms anymore because I just wanted to drop it down there as quick as I could while they're still down there. They go, they go around in schools, so once they're underneath you, you gotta take advantage. Alright, I'll leave that rod like that. I'll see if it bites. I'll see if the fish bites. I'll see the tip moving. I will pull this one up. And yes, we need maggots on this one. We also need to uh, level the tungsten jing a bit. Uh, by that I mean right now it's hanging straight down we gotta make sure we have it horizontal as much as we can and down she goes this one here we'll have to keep an eye on the tip <clears throat> this one comes out yeah we need another white maggot on this one Wow, what a warm uh, welcome back from this lake, guys. I haven't been here in a while. If you guys uh, remember, this is what I filmed, my first fishing video uh, and uh, a small catch and cook for you guys. I was here last year with Emil, catching Rockies and, uh, and eating them in the Rockies. And now I am back. Hopefully I'll get to try uh, some lake trout here. The bite ends around uh, 11 to noon. So I gotta make this happen quick. I cannot play too much. I'll have to keep it uh, short and sweet with the Rocky Mountain Whitefish and then make my way down there. Um, the thing with uh, lake trout here is you can get skunked very easily. You can spend your entire day here and not catch anything. So I wanted to uh, come here and get some action for you guys. Show you how to catch Rocky Mountain Whitefish again. You hear the fish uh, flopping over there. I already bled them. So they're just on their way out. These guys are gonna make a very nice table fare. Some people think they're bony. I think they're uh, delicious. White uh, meat, um, a bit flaky, straight from a pristine mountain lake. Doesn't get better than that. So whenever you see three lines on the sonar, guys, that's, uh, like I said, the tungsten jingle on the bottom. Then we have the scud fly, and the third uh, line you see, that's the swivel, obviously. And then there might be some little ice beads on the line that you're gonna see above that. Obviously disregard that. It looks like the wind has died down. I wanna take this uh, chance to uh, thank a few of my friends on YouTube who uh, were nice enough to uh, share my channel um, and talk nicely about me on their channel. So I wanna give them a shout back. 
Uh, first one is uh, BK Bow Hunter. Thanks a lot, brother, for uh, doing everything you do for me. Always watching my videos, always commenting and sharing with your uh, subscribers. Guys, check him out. He does really cool uh, deer hunting videos. Uh, everything is do it yourself. Things that relatable with everybody. No crazy twenty thousand dollar outfitter hunts or anything like that. Uh, I'll put all the links uh, in the description below. Second uh, channel, I would like to give a shout uh, out to uh, long overdue brother. This is uh, Corey Whitetail Woods. Uh, Corey, same thing, uh, really nice family guy. Uh, he puts out videos with uh, some fishing and mostly deer hunting. Apparently, that's his passion. Uh, thanks again, Corey, for giving me a shout on your channel. Uh, guys, check him out. Again, his uh, description is going to be oh, I have a fish in the in the bottom of my video and then I would like to also mention uh, oh, Chile in Indiana Carl and there you go buddy <laughs> I got a bite while I was talking about you Chile in Indiana Carl guys uh, oh this guy is big oh he got off he got off I think I just snagged him I think he was just snagged. Wow. Uh, chilling in the other car, guys. He's got some really good uh, fishing gear reviews, kayak reviews, uh, fishing lures. And he also shares some awesome content on his, uh, on his page. Show him some love as well. So uh, again, thanks a lot, guys. BK Bow Hunter. Uh, oh. I just don't want to let him talk today. Vicky Bow Hunter, uh, Cody Whitetail Woods, and Chilling in Yellow Carol. That was a lake trout. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That was a lake trout, guys. I rushed him a bit and I think he was not hooked properly. These jigs uh, are a bit on the small size for uh, on the small side for a lake trout. I think I'm gonna soon maybe drop off my uh, my secret lure. Not so secret anymore because I shared it with you guys, but. I'm gonna drop that in here and try to get some trout. I think uh, right now they are patrolling this shallower water looking for food. Wow. I did not expect that. That was so surprising. I was talking about my friends on YouTube. And guys, if you don't hear yourself uh, mentioned, you are just as important to me. Don't forget that. Friends from all over the world, thank you for watching my videos again and uh, supporting me and my channel. Wow. Wow. That was something else. I've only gotten lake trout on these little jigs a handful of times. Um, I usually get them, like I said, on my uh, on my fish jig, uh, fish imitating jig, or like a white squid uh, jig, tipped with some smelt. This lake doesn't allow bait, guys, so you're not allowed bait fish. But remember, you're allowed uh, smelt. So what I do is I cut a tiny fillet and I uh, tip my lures. Oh, we have something messing around under the ice here. Let's see. Looks like I have something interested in the in the scud. Oh, he's going he's going down. He's heading for the tungsten jig. 
Could it be a trout? Oh, he's heading down now. He's coming back. I had a tiny nibble. That was a Rocky Mountain whitefish. I rushed the hook set. He's gonna be back. There he is. He's making me sweat, this guy, I swear. Come on. I bet, I, I bet you I don't even have a worm left on the hook anymore right now. He's gonna end up taking my worm, my uh, maggot, sorry, and he's gonna end up swimming away. Hopefully he's still hungry. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Going for the scud. Ay, 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 ay. He might be a smaller guy. He might be a smaller guy, but... At this point, I think he's just going down. Yeah, I think he's just... Oh, there's another one coming up. I gotta watch this rod too then. It looks like there's a bunch of them down there. Unreal. Make sure you clear the ice in your hole guys, uh, sometimes it's just gonna mask those tiny bites from these guys. They're coming up, oh, come on, it's gonna entice them a bit, yeah I bet my maggot is gone, I bet you anything. Wow, there's a bunch of them beneath me right now. And I am out of maggots on my hook, guaranteed. This one got dropped. Oh, red maggots did it again. I gotta give them a bit of time to settle down. I don't wanna rush them again. There he is. That's... He took the spot this time. There you have it guys. These are way above the 30 centimeter limit that we have on this lake. Delicious fish. The sun is still hiding between some clouds. So far the fish bite was excellent, just before sunrise. If you can't fish this lake guys, uh, leave your uh, Tim Horton loving friends at home. There's no time to waste on the way here. There's another one. There's no time to waste on the way here. There's plenty of time to stop on your way back and admire the view and uh, 
do all that cool stuff. It's a lake where you have to come and be focused from morning till noon. That's when all the action is going to happen. And uh, anything past that, in my opinion, on this lake is a waste of time. There must be some bite in the evening as well. I never hung around late enough to, to find out. Uh, the latest I've stayed on this lake was about 4 p.m. And I can tell you, nothing has happened between that uh, 12 to 4, uh, you know, during that window. <laughs> Just so you have an idea, this rod is fishing in 4 meters of water. And this one is fishing in uh, 4.7, so almost 5 meters. So between these two rods, we have about close to a meter, close to 3 feet slope, which is uh, pretty steep. Spray Lakes, guys. Kayanaskis, uh, Alberta, a magical place, trust me. Uh, we uh, come to this area quite a bit. We hike. A lot of trails in the mountains uh, if you've been uh, checking my shorts I have a couple of hikes there but yeah I don't feel my hikes nearly enough as I feel my hunting and fishing but if you guys are watching this and uh, you know I've been putting uh, ice fishing on a back back burner because you think you need some kind of crazy gear or uh, you know it's not like that it's accessible to everybody. Go out there and have fun, guys. These are cheap rods from Cabela's. Um, nothing crazy. No Stellas, no Stratics here. Just regular cheap ice fishing rods. My Sonar is the most inexpensive one you can get. Extremely, extremely good value for what it is. Uh, I didn't even bring my tent today. It's nice and warm. And obviously it's a lot easier for me to film. So I left my tent home. Yeah, just go out there and have fun guys. And you know, don't wait for this friend or that friend or this acquaintance to take you out. Uh, you know, I met so many guys like that who, you know, sometimes I go by used, used. It's practically brand new, but it's pre-owned gear from guys uh, on uh, you know Facebook marketplace and places like that and I hear their stories and man it is sad because I've been there too uh, you know fishing not so much because I started fishing when I was six years old but with hunting you know when I started hunting uh, you know not too many people want to take you out and they show you the ropes and a lot of people that you think they're good hunters when you're not a hunter it turned out they're like you know some people just prefer to road hunt and just not my style. So you just got to make it happen, guys. If you really want to go out there and do it, just go out there and do it. Watch some YouTube videos, join some, uh, you know, some forums, some uh, Facebook groups, you know, for ice fishing. There's some amazing uh, groups on, uh, on Facebook. Um, Alberta Fishing Buddies, I want to give them a shout out. Uh, thanks a lot for letting me post my content on there. Um, there's another one uh, called uh, Ice Fishing uh, and Lake Conditions for the Ice Fishing for the Ice Fishing Warriors or something like that. Sorry if I got it. I got this wrong, guys. I just have a fish here trying to take my uh, my uh, maggots. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. Join the groups, uh, watch the discussions. Hey, subscribe to my channel. I put some awesome content here and I show you guys how to do it. Um, there's, there's, You're gonna find grumpy guys there who don't wanna have anything to do with newbies. Uh, but most of the guys on these groups, uh, they're pretty awesome guys. 903 now. I didn't even notice. Uh, hey, time flies when we're hanging out, right? We're having fun. Um, just because I had a fish circle around there not too long ago, I'm gonna make an exception and uh, give it another couple of minutes, see if he comes back. And after that, we're just gonna to switch to, um, to lake trout fishing.
okay it seems that he's gone and uh oh is he <laughs> is he gone or is he just here to mess with me and make me waste my time when i could be fishing lake trout anyway I'm gonna pull this rod out of the water because I promised you guys I'm gonna show you my uh, my setup on this one. They're both exactly the same actually. So whatever is on this is on that one as well. The only exception is this one has red maggots and that one has uh, white maggots. So there it is, guys. Just a gold bead tungsten jig from uh, Northland Tackle. You set it up horizontally and above it, in my case about a foot and a half, but you can make it a foot above, just a gold bead uh, scud fly and obviously a swivel. We have fish right under the ice. right under the ice about three feet deep and he's biting and I didn't hook him oh man that would be so there you go guys limit limit is, limit is done on Rocky Mountain Whitefish there he is whoa Drop my rod in the water. Uh, I went a bit crazy here, trying to lift him up in the air with my four pound leader. Man, these guys have a lot of strength. There he is, guys. Number five. We are gonna have a nice fry tonight, guys, and you know what? If you guys want to, I will make a video of how I'm cooking these fish and how I'm eating them because they are bony, but if you know what you're doing, you can separate those bones from the from the meat pretty easily. So yeah, hit me up with a thumbs up and uh, put it in the comments. If you want to see that, I'll, I'll make a video on that uh, and share it with, with, with you guys. Well, that's it for today, guys. It looks more like a whitefish kind of day. Lake trout uh, lost one of the hole and had one that couldn't commit. I snagged him a few times, but I just couldn't pull him out. Thanks for coming along. Thanks for uh, following me on this uh, fishing trip. Like I said before, please like, comment, and subscribe. I read all the comments. I reply to uh, all of them. Uh, it was a good day. I will hit this lake again for uh, lake trout this season, I promise you that, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to final finalize that deal. Until then, uh, take care.